नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स इट्स मी एच एन उपाध्याय इन द मैथ आर्ट स्टूडियो एंड ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेलकम टू डे फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इट इज आल्सो अबाउट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ज्योमेट्रिकल शेप्स टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट क्वाड्रिलेटर ओके डियर फ्रेंड्स लेट्स टेक अ शीट ऑफ पेपर इन दिस शीट ऑफ पेपर ड्रॉ अ क्वाड्रिलेटर ए बी सी डी नेम इट एम सी डी ड्रॉ वन ऑफ द डायगोनल्स लेटेस्ट ड्रॉ ए सी एंड ऑन द डायगोनल ड्रॉ द परपेंडिकुलर फ्रॉम द अपोजिट वर्टिसेस सो देर आर टू अपोजिट वर्टिसेस ऑफ दिस डायगोनल वी ड्रॉ परपेंडिकुलर ऑन दैट डायगोनल and this perpendicular has a special name do you know what is that you can take time to think about it okay so this is the diagonal you can say diagonal is named as d it represents the whole diagonal that one and this is called the offset o f f s e t s offset so i'll just write it in the front offset is denoted by p1 and another offset this is denoted by p2 and we can name the foot of the perpendicular of of the of this two offsets as this is the point p bp is one offset another is dq is another offset so these are the perpendicular to a diagonal from the opposite vertices offsets are that okay and cut out using the scissor take another sheet of paper and cut it out so that you can cut into two quadrilateral at the same time now cut along the boundary boundary line this way this is the quadrilateral now you can see two congruent quadrilaterals i have been using the word congruency almost every day in my presentation and people are asking about that what are the method of proving congruency and what is actually meant by congruence things like that and i'll be making those things very much clear uh, in my video when i am doing something with congruent triangles and other congruent shapes but today just to understand they overlap each other you know now you can see only the red quadrilateral and if you put it above here and you can see only the black one what does it mean they are fitting each other in their outlines in their position that is why these are called congruent uh, quadrilaterals and paste one of them here glue it and paste it as usual whatever you are doing throughout the session repeat the same thing with this thing you know it is like that and in this new quadrilateral also you draw the offsets here a diagonal and offsets you know and it is black and would not be seen but if you do with pencil then it would be a little possible on it because the pencil lead signs on it so this is the diagonal you can see it i hope and there is the offset here and another offset is over there you know Okay, that is just fine. I have uh, overdrawn it one. This one just to make you sure that you can see it very clearly. You have now the offsets and the diagonal on the quadrilateral ABCD. 
Okay. <coughs> now cut this into four pieces. Cut this into four pieces. Two pieces. You have four different triangles. Right angle triangle of different shapes. Now keep them here. And take the previous quadrilateral. And in this quadrilateral, <coughs> you can name ABCD here because while we cut out the boundary line that ABCD went out. That's why this is A, that one is B, and this is C, and that one is D. ABCD is the quadrilateral, just to name it, you know. Okay, now take a triangular sheet that just fits exactly to that one, you know. It is like that. And another one goes over there. That way you fit all those triangles over here. So that you will see again the quadrilateral ABCD. So this is something about congruency once again, you know. These pieces make the congruent quadrilateral to ABCD. That is what you have to understand. Now take out this piece and you arrange it over here. Okay. And take out this piece and arrange it over here this way. and take out this piece and arrange it over here this way and take out that piece and arrange it over here that way so what did you see here tell me what did this shape called now let me first paste all these things here the pieces will not be moving here and there if we paste them with the glue You have the shape here. Okay. So, yeah. That one is the rectangle. Uh, U, B, W, X. You can say anything. Any name can be given. Now, what can you say after this? Now comes the uh, interpretation, analysis presentation, whatever you say, here, the area of the quadrilateral ABCD, here, area of quadrilateral ABCD is equal to half of the this whole thing because two quadrilaterals have made the whole thing so that is why the quadrilateral ABCD is half of the rectangle rectangle UBWS WX okay so this half is here rectangle has the area as the product of its length and breadth. That is why we have length WX into breadth is XU. You can have that. So you write half over there. And what is WX equals to? Actually, you know, there is a line AC dividing the whole rectangle into two rectangles so that the length of this rectangle can be substituted by the sum of the lengths of BP and QD. That's why you can do WX is equal to BP plus QD. DQ, you can say DQ. BP plus DQ. Into this X, uh, XU is exactly equal to the diagonal AC. You can write that one. So write half. This is already defined AC. That is the diagonal. 
and that is the sum of BP is P1 plus DQ is P2 and actually in language it is half diagonal into this one is the sum of offsets I have set O F F let me write here sum of O F F S C T S offsets this is offset 1 this is offset 2 and they are added as the sum of two offsets therefore let the area of the quadrilateral be abbreviated by the quadrilateral itself is equal to half D stands for diagonal and P1 stands for offset 1 and P2 stands for offset 2. Therefore, the area of the quadrilateral is equal to half diagonal into sum of offsets. This way, the area of the quadrilateral is generalized by using two congruent quadrilateral and cutting them along diagonal and the offsets making four triangles different triangles and arranging all these triangles have right angle in them that's why keeping the right angle outside you know always outside and congruent triangles should go at the same place so this is this and this is congruent and the angle is outside here right angle is outside two congruent right angle is outside two congruent right angle is this is the method you arrange the pieces in the form of a big rectangle and rectangles, the area of the rectangle is universally known to everybody. So that is length into breadth and everything is a length into breadth interpreted in terms of the diagonal and the sum of offsets. That's it. Thank you, my dear friends. Okay, thank you, my dear friends, watching uh, my video. If you find it useful, if you like it and think it is useful to you in your classroom teaching and to the students to learn mathematics in joyful and child-friendly manner, then keep watching my video. You will be having this type of video throughout the year. And while you watch it, do not forget to share and subscribe it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.